Welcome back, everybody. Well, just before the commercial break, we were showing you how to create these fantastic, cute little bow napkins. And here to show us how easy they are to make is sewing genius, Denise Wow. Yay! Welcome, sweetie. How are you? Very good, thank good, you. Good, good, good. Those are beautiful napkin, um, like little napkins. I love the way they look on there. But you, we're going to make them ourselves. We're going to make them ourselves. They're so simple to make. And then they really dress up the table. You can play with the colors and uh, play with the patterns. Totally. Love it. Okay, Absolutely. so what's the first thing we need to start with? So the first thing we start with is a square of fabric. We're yep. doing 16 by 16 square napkins. Okay. And we have cut them out an inch longer on all sides. So these are actually 17 by 17 squares. Yep. Okay. And we're doing what we call a double fold hem. Okay. So I've turned over the sides a quarter inch. We've pressed it down and then we're turning it under another quarter right. inch. So why do you do it, that? Why, why do you have to do a double well, fold? Well, we have to do that so that it uh, prevents the fabric from, or the, the raw edge from fraying you need a finished edge on oh, your right. napkins yeah. Right. Yeah. and this one is very easy you don't have to you know be be super skilled to be able to do this exactly. one so I might be able to paw my way through this is what you're saying you can definitely okay. do it. Okay. so we've gone through and I've pressed over a quarter inch a quarter or uh, half an inch and half an inch all the way around four sides nice. and we're just gonna sew it okay. all the way around okay and now, um, now is there any special fabric that we need for this uh, Denise or can we use anything you can use anything I've chosen a cotton because it is absorbent for right. napkins sure. and also uh, presses really easily. And actually, what I'm going to get you to do is sew from the right side of the fabric. Oh, right side so we're going to do what's called what do you mean a by the right top side of the fabric? You want to have the wrong side facing down so that oh. you're looking at the finished, the proper finished Stephen, side. Stephen, how do you automatically know what the wrong side is? Well, to me, it's just four the, sides. That's the wrong side. It's the wrong side. What's the wrong side? Okay. The wrong the, side is the, the, the back side. Oh, the I see. Okay. And you push that down. Exactly. So we're sewing on the right side of the fabric. Oh, we're sewing on the right side. Yes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you have it. You have I got it. I think I have it. Okay, so we're starting. Okay, so back stitch a few. Oh, no, back stitch. I and then two, go oh, all the way forward. Uh oh. That's okay. We can I'll do it on the I'll, way around. I'll do it on the way around. Can I go faster? So yes, it can. Oh, can no, I go actually, faster you're too? Because <laughs> mine's going really, We've got really. We've speed control on the front, so you can Where make sure. Where's the speed faster. control? This one, these little arrows right here. Mine's oh, so blast. So what I'm going to do is okay, okay, get to okay, the okay, end, okay, because okay, it's well, gone through and pressed all of the edges, yeah. when you get to the very end, you want to be careful that everything is tucked in where it's right. supposed to be. When you get to the bottom, we're going to do what's called a pivot. Oh, a pivot, Chris, Christopher. Listen. Yeah, a pivot. Yeah, you're going to have to pay attention. An actual pivot. <laughs> and then we come back. So we're going to leave the, fa the um, needle into the fabric, lift up the presser foot, and you slide it around. Okay, wait, wait. And that way, the, yeah, the needle keep, keeps the fabric all exactly. intact. Exactly. The needle keeps your fabric in place. You don't have to worry about it sliding around. Okay. Yeah, so just keep going a few more stitches. Mine yeah, looks like that, you shouldn't drink around. and sew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Take it a few more stitches down. Down? Yeah. yeah. And how, how do I pivot? Okay, pivot all right. me. Oops. Pivot me. So then, yeah. so then the we pivot. lower into the fabric, okay. lift up the presser foot, and swing it around. Got it. And okay. then you lower the presser foot again, and we just okay, keep sewing done. forward. Are, we go? Are you really almost done? Okay. <laughs> gonna go, gonna go, gonna go. Oh, mine went right off so, the tracks. Okay. Oh, oh. So you're gonna so, pivot around all four corners and do it in one continuous stitch all the way to the end. That's so really it's, easy. Okay. it's really easy. Okay. You're just so. pressing under your raw edges, and then. Uh, so all four finishing. are done. Cool. Yeah. All you know, okay, I'm, 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 yeah, okay, so this worked out really well for me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not as bad as I thought I would be, no, though, because this you, is no, not I, as, this you're is pretty good. I think you have yeah. talent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay, so we get the, the four sides done. Okay, so okay. once you've done the four sides, we're going to take a piece of ribbon, and I've pre-cut ribbon for us uh, to six inches right here. Okay, okay. and I have one and here. And this is going to be our napkin ring. Now, we're using ribbon because it's so much easier than working with fabric to bother sewing something really small. Yeah. So all we have to do is finish up the ends and prevent them from fraying. Okay. And I brought a little... Uh, Fire oh, with oh. Us too. we're gonna have so a smoke. Everybody <laughs> <going to, laughs> needs a cigar we're, to celebrate. We're gonna light our little candle. Oh, we're gonna get the And that mood. way, we'll melt the edges of the ribbon, okay. and that will prevent it from unraveling. And this is um, can you bring up gro the grain yeah. ribbon, right? Exactly, grow grain. It's got the little. We have to watch because mm -hmm. what, but this if is you a flamethrower, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Totally. So Great. I have a little water dishes in case we okay. get out of control. I but what you want to do is bring the edge of your ribbon close to, but not touching the flame, and just move it quickly. 
already. You'll see that it kind of melts in. Oh. Uh, you just don't want it to catch on fire. No, mine just dips. Yeah. <laughs> Dip it in the water. It smells like Dip it in the water, yeah. yeah. No, if I don't so that, you're doing both like... sides of that just to prevent it from unraveling. Oh, cool. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Wow. And in this case is... you've caught yours on fire. Yeah, you I got have something. One that's already done. Do you have one run for me? <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I got this. Yours I got is a... smoking over Mine's there. Mine's turning into a flamethrower. This one's already melted. And you know what I do love, though? I love the fact that this is cotton and this is this is this ribbon is done oh, in a, you know it's a beautiful. different th um, material because then it has that sort of contrast which it's is so beautiful gorgeous. definitely so what we're doing with these ribbon pieces is we're going to sew on some velcro okay. so that's your napkin oh. ring right there okay so we've got two pieces of velcro in front right here your, oh, okay. yours is black yeah, yeah. Uh, to go right. with your green so you stitch one on one side exactly so we're going to stitch one on one side and yeah. then the other goes on the other opposite side. Right. Uh -oh. Now, what I want to talk to you about with uh -oh. sewing Velcro, yeah. show, show just me that. do it one at a okay, time. Okay, we'll do it one yeah. at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So you just position it over top of your ribbon. Yeah. And then we're going to uh, sew it in place all the way around. Oh, so like a little square all the way around. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Now, with Velcro, um, people might not know this, but you can just sew it with a regular presser foot, a regular needle. Oh, really? Okay, oh. so there's, nothing, there's, no, there's no Velcro needle that you might exactly. need for okay. yeah. So let's slide right. it under. That's the Velcro setting. Okay. okay. And you're going to do your back stitch, and then we're pivoting around the corners, just That's like we I did. That's what I thought. On... I knew where was a pivot coming. Yep. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm going back and forth. Okay. Okay, okay done. Here. You're, you're oh, done you're already. Done. <laughs> totally. How can you be done I did, already? Look, I did a whole little square stitch and the whole bit. Okay, could, could someone remind me how to pivot again? <laughs> so we lower the needle into the fabric by yes. using the hand wheel, oh, and, and then we lift up the presser foot, and then you can twirl it, it in. Okay, and so we're using the sink. Yep. Before you press the pedal again, lower your presser foot, and then yeah. continue. Has sewing. anybody lost a finger under these needles before? <laughs> you think in the history of people? <laughs> oh, in the history of sewing. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, cool. Once you have it on the one side, you're going to take your um, other piece of Velcro and, and sew it, it into on the, the other, other one. side. Okay. Exactly. Cool. Okay. Exactly. And then Twirl. we have some How here. Are you doing with that? Oh, really well. Really, yeah. really, really well. <laughs> really well. I've got it done. Look at that, everybody. I did it. It's Woo! done. See, there we go. Perfect. There we're we go. We're good. I got a perfect little square in here too. Look at that. Yeah, you did a great job. I did. So I'm just going to hot glue the other one on, okay? And there we go. <laughs> you should blow your candle there. We're going to have oh, a disaster. Yeah, okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this is yours. Pre-done. Pre-done. Okay. How are we doing for time, man? Are we almost out of time? We're almost out okay. of time. So, and now there we go. we've got to get on the uh, folding of this, right? Okay, so. Yeah, so Use. what we'll do for the napkins to make the little bow tie, just fold them in quarters. So now we have a 16 by 16 inch square that we've made. Yeah. Um, we fold it in corners. Yep. And then just kind of squish it and gather it oh, and fan it. Oh, how cute is that? Squish it and gather it. We have our little bow. Yeah. Okay. And I like these little, uh, the these little, you could change the color up on these little uh, Velcro kind of doodads here. Exactly. Because it's yep. so easy to sew, it's, um, you know, it doesn't require a lot of skill and you it, can you can do them and, and how much them up. And how much would these be to, how much would these, yeah, yeah. How much would these be to make roughly about uh, well because they don't use very much fabric you could buy a meter of fabric and fit a ton of them in I'd say maximum two dollars because our ribbon is very inexpensive as $2 well this is incredible yeah. and they're so cute. cute so easy to use and look how beautiful that is to start oh, look at and when you start entertaining you there take you it off you take it out and boom you're ready to go oh you're missing one. Oh. you need the black and white okay. one I was gonna say my mine is mine, 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 mine tuxedo stuff the black and white one here i go, go. cute yeah usually <laughs> i do this with a tank top on there you go <laughs> <laughs> so dancing.